Here we'll mention something that you've already seen in action before, although we never bothered to point it out, and this is known as operator overloading. We've added two integers before. Let's just go with 2 plus 3. So we have that plus symbol, that plus sign, to say we want to add these integers. And hitting return, no surprise, we get the integer value of 5. Now, if we wanted to add 2 plus the float value of 3, we could do that and we use the same symbol, the same plus sign. And to us, that makes sense. But to Python, in one case, it recognizes that it has two integer operands, and then it performs a certain set of operations knowing that those integers are represented with a certain combination of bits. Now, when one operand is an integer and another is a float, things get a little bit more complicated. The integer value is converted into a float, and then float addition is performed. So the representation of floating point numbers is different from integer numbers. Python has to be aware of what operands are, what the types of the operands are, when a symbol, which we should just think of as an operator, is used in an expression. Let's try this. Let's write the string high and then write the same plus sign and now the string there. We might think well, that doesn't make sense. You can't add high plus there. What could that possibly be? But Python, if we hit return now, doesn't give us an error. Instead, it gives us the concatenation of those strings. It gives us a new string that has linked the two operands that we saw before. Python will use the same symbol to represent different operations and what is actually performed, the operation that's actually performed, depends on the types of the operands. So let's give another example. We know that multiplication is represented with an asterisk. So let's write 2 asterisk 3, and that's 2 times 3. Hitting return, we get 6. But how about if we said the string hello and multiplied that by 3? Again, if we think in terms of mathematical multiplication, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But if we think of multiplication kind of as repetition, then maybe this makes sense. Hitting return, we see that we get hello repeated three times. Just as if we had two times three, that means repeating two three times and summing those all up, adding those all up. Here we have a string. We say repeat it three times and sum that all up. So it's kind of the same thing. But again, that asterisk will mean different things depending on the types of the operands. And in this particular case, it doesn't matter the order. If we write the three first and then the hello, we get the same result. These are examples of operator overloading. The operation associated with this symbol can change depending on the types of the operands.